Hello. Good morning guys and welcome back. So a few people have been asking me how the mods on the Jeep have been going, how they've been lasting, has there been any issues with them, yada yada. So before the channel was White and Sun's Garage, if you guys have just subscribed to the channel, and if you haven't already, please just subscribe, that'd be great. Um, but the channel used to be Cheap Jeeper. Now it was kind of dedicated to cheaper Jeep mods. Um, try and help you guys save money when modifying your Jeep because it can be really expensive um, and living in Australia parts from the States are very expensive um, and even in New Zealand parts are very hard to find so people either get cheaper parts to make their experience cheaper but you still modify your Jeep still have fun with it and all that sort of stuff um, so a few people have been asking me how the mods are going if there's any issues with them and what I recommend buying the cheaper stuff over the more expensive stuff um, and in I'll, I'll talk from my experiences, it might be different for someone else. It always depends on what you're using your vehicle for. Obviously, I don't do hardcore forward driving, so it's on standard suspension, so I can't really say if you are buy a cheaper lift over a more expensive lift, how that's going to handle. I do have aftermarket um, steering dampeners um, in the Jeep, so we can talk about that. Um, but there's a few, few things I've done that have not worked out um, and I've just wasted money on and there's a few things that have really worked out that have been a couple hundred dollars cheaper than what you can buy from leading brands I don't like spending a lot of money one I don't have a lot of money to spend and modifying a Jeep over stuff on the house or family kind of take second priority but I'd love modifying my Jeep I love having fun with it um, I love doing stuff and I love sharing that with you guys um, and I think you guys really like the cheaper mods because it really spoke to um, a bigger range of people rather than people that spend six thousand dollars on a lift or five thousand dollars on five five blah, 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 fucked that up. Five thousand dollars on wheels and tires. I can't afford that. Can't afford a thousand dollars for a new bumper, can't afford a thousand dollars for a rear bumper. So I think the cheaper mods actually spoke to a lot more people. So let's get started with how the cheap mods have been going over the last two years on this Jeep. So, the first one is, I made a little list on Facebook, um, and this might be, let me know in the comments of your guys' experience over with cheaper mods rather than more expensive mods, tell me if you guys had a good experience or a bad experience, a lot of people say don't waste your money on cheap shit, because you end up spending twice as much, twice as much money, um, and it's just going to be more expensive than if you just bought the more expensive stuff. I can, I can see that on a few things, but other things, things I can't see that on. So the first thing we did um, was we changed it to the old flimsy JK latches for the JL latches. I think this was like two years ago and they were $35 off Amazon. I'll leave these links down in the description if you guys want to check them out. But they were like $35 bucks off Amazon. Um, and for like the last two years they've been absolutely awesome. They look great. There's no been any issues. They're a little bit faded now after two years. Um, and on some of the joints you can see it starts to rust a little bit. Other than that they've been absolutely perfect. So would I buy them again? Yeah. I would. You can buy expensive ones, five, six hundred dollar ones, whatever, but thirty-five bucks, whatever they were, they've lasted really well. I'm really happy with them, apart from a little bit of rust, which we can touch up anyway. Um, the other thing we did straight away was we got a cheap set of LED spotlights on the front. These from Kings. I think they were like twenty-five dollars for the pair, which is super cheap. Um, a lot of people don't back them, so they're not bright. They go like that yellowy color. As you can see, if they stay really crisp, clean. The other thing. The only thing downside of these is the bolts and stuff have started to rust, which is expected. We drive up the beach where we live on the coast, like there's salt all around us. A little bit of rust is expected, especially over two years. Um, I can easily just change those out for um, a set of stainless steel bolts and be on my way. But other than that, they're fine. At 25 bucks, really cheap and really good. And they're super bright, haven't discolored. The caps on them might have faded a little bit, but nothing that would warrant me changing them or painting them. Is seat covers. Um, I like the factory seats in the Jeep, but I wanted something that isn't going to get scuffed, ripped, especially sliding in and out of the Jeep. The kids are playing in it, the dogs in it all the time. So I've got a cheap set of seat covers from Facebook Marketplace. I think they were like 10 or $15. I think they're just like a cheap, super cheap auto set. 
um, and they've been absolutely perfect. They don't fit well, they don't look the best, but do they do the job? Absolutely. We've been wet, sandy, dirty, muddy, and they've lasted really well. They're really easy to clean. I think they're like the nolophane ones, super easy to clean, really um, easy to keep dry um, and clean afterwards, really easy to take off, to throw in the wash, and they protect the seats really well, and that's what you want. People can spend up to a thousand bucks on a set of seat covers. Fifteen bucks, you're good to go. Um, the other thing we did wasn't something we bought, but it was something we made. You can buy these, um, but we just made our own ones, and this was probably a year ago or a year and a half ago. We made the paracord grab handles for like the roll bars. Now the first that I made, I think the I don't really like them. They're fine in the back, but in the front because we use them more. The uh, cord we used was a little bit too thick, so I actually just bought more cord from eBay that was actually cheaper than the first stuff we used um, and as you can see we've got red ones in the red and white in the back and green um, like camouflage ones in the front I prefer the, the thinner material that's the only downside and the other thing I kind of messed up with it as well I should have used like a um, like a carabiner like a small carabiner hook to actually attach them together rather than just a cable tie other than that they're great they're really cheap um, and it's great if you can do DIY stuff like that yourself it's super rewarding but you can buy them yourself um, the other thing we did is the um, doorstep on the Jeep um, now a couple of people are like oh you need to buy the expensive ones they're weight rated blah 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 all that sort of stuff I think our one was $40 from Amazon again link down below if you guys want to check that out yeah, also I'll link the stuff for the Paragord um, stuff as well if you guys want to buy that but we did the side steps so we can get the paddleboard, shovel, whatever else off the roof. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, you got to buy the more expensive ones. Like the cheaper ones don't hold up. No, nah. I think our one was like 30 bucks or 40 bucks from Amazon, and it's been absolutely perfect. Again, um, the bolts on it, um, just because they're not that high quality, have started to rust a little bit. It's been on the Jeep for a year. Um, it's started, it's starting to fade a little bit. The blacks, we can easily take that off. Use bed liner, matte black spray paint, whatever. To touch that up um, and with the rust we could just do some soft seal or some uh, something else WD-40 on it to stop it rusting a little bit more other than that I've got no issues with it a lot of them people have had issues nothing's broken on it looks really good I was really excited about making was the retailgate drop down table for the Jeep now we've made one in the TJ and we've made two different ones for the back of the JK uh, the first one I made was the material was just too thin, um, it was crap, so we reused the hinge, everything like that. For the second one, the second one had like a white and beer holder. Um, I wouldn't recommend making that, that was, it was great um, to hold glasses of wine, it worked perfectly, beer wasn't so great. Um, and I think the hinge we used on the bottom was just too flimsy. Um, you can use it if you want, if you're not going to hold a lot of weight. Uh, for us, it was just... It was handy to have. We had donuts, coffee, um, wine, dinner and stuff on it. Um, when we went camping, it worked absolutely fine. But if you want to use... We've, we've taken it down at the moment because we're going to use a bit of material and we're going to do some something else uh, to the face of it to make it look a lot cooler, a lot better. Um, but um, I'd use more high quality part. I'd we use the paracord string to actually hold it up. I'd probably use a steel wire instead. I'd also use a smaller magnet and maybe like a latch to hold it um, in. And then I'd also use a stronger uh, hinge or just like two brackets that flip down. I've just used better materials next time. Um, I was just trying to do as cheap as possible so you guys could get an idea of how cheap you can actually make one rather than just going on eBay or Amazon and spending 150, 200 bucks on the drop down tailgate table. But would I build one again for the same price? Probably, yes, if I'm not holding a lot of weight. Probably no, if I'm using it for like cooking, overland and camping, I'll spend a little bit more money and make it really solid and heavy. Uh, one of the ones we did probably a month ago was the rear tailgate hinges on the Jeep. I was really excited about this because the factory hinges on the Jeep, they don't look that great and they're starting to sag a little bit. So we bought these ones off um, Amazon again, Amazon or eBay, I'll leave both links down below if you guys want to check those out. Um, but I think they were like 30, $35 or $40, which is super cheap for a set of tailgate hinges for the Jeep. And they look awesome, don't get me wrong. Um, but that was only about a month ago, and they already started to fade, and the bolts on them have already started to rust. Again, it's not a massive deal. They work really well, they look great, um, but it's just starting to fade. It must be really cheap powder coating, or not even powder coated. So I'll probably have to take them off 
sand them back, powder coat them, or wrap them on them, whatever. Um, and I just have to get some stainless stainless um, bolts for the, the actual hinge part of it. It's annoying because they should actually have better materials. I mean, it's cheap, like it's cheap crap. But has it done this purpose? Yes. Do those bolts need to be changed? Yes. Um, a little bit annoying, but they work really well. Um, one of the ones we did that I was, I think probably the best thing we've done is actually the DIY headliner in the Jeep. Um, the only it looks great. Son's really happy with it. It's awesome. Keeps a little bit of heat out. It's just made of cardboard and blankets we got from Kmart. The only issue we've got is the one behind the back seat is because of how long it is. Um, it started to fall down a little bit. Uh, we either need to cut it in half so it's two separate pieces. The one above, um, above the passenger drive seat holding up fine, super solid. Um, but I think because they're smaller pieces it holds up um, a lot better. So it's just the one in the back that uh, started dripping down because I think it's a little bit too heavy um, and it's not enough supporting it. But other than that, it's absolutely perfect. Would I change it? I just have to um, either cut it and use something a little bit stronger. Cardboard works fine. The material we use, absolutely perfect. Got no problems. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys got, like any of those products we just uh, mentioned, I'll leave the links down below for the Amazon accounts and stuff like that. Uh, but if you've got any mods that you spent way too much money on and they still ended up like shit, leave them in the comments below or you just spent bought the cheapest, nastiest stuff and it's worked out great, leave in the comments below. Let me know what you guys have done to your Jeep that you would either do next time or you've done and it's worked out absolutely mint. So that's pretty much it for today guys. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you can, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. The subscribe account is slowly growing, that's right. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. Sure.